Hey you guys, welcome to my kitchen today on this beautiful Monday morning. Um, we have one more day of the sale going on for my six week fit body challenge program. So what I wanna do to kick off my, or to finish up my sale is show you one of my favorite recipes that is from my challenge. So this recipe, you guys, okay, cheesy chicken enchiladas. Does that sound like something you'd normally find on a fat loss plan? No, I didn't think so. So when I was devising these meal plans, I really wanted um, meals that, that were really traditional, kind of more comfort food type of meals and um, that you wouldn't normally think would fit into a fat loss plan. So I want this plan to be something that you guys can do forever and that you really feel like you're eating well. Um, so I created this recipe with a few healthy swaps and I built the whole meal plan around this recipe, okay? So people have said this is their favorite day on the meal plan, so I'm just gonna put together some of these for you, show you how easy it is. So I've got my meal plans pulled up here on my iPad, gone to the recipe, so we're just gonna, I've actually filled a couple of these already beforehand so that you didn't have to just sit here and watch me fill the enchiladas. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mix together, I have here uh, one cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. So this is kind of like a sour cream sub. If you guys have never used um, Greek yogurt in place of sour cream, you should try it. It tastes like pretty much identical. And then we've got one can of low-fat um, cream of chicken soup, okay? So this is, sorry, this is not gonna be that pretty, but we're just gonna do our best here, okay? So that's what we're gonna mix together. And again, this is only half those amounts, so I've already filled a few of these beforehand. So we're just gonna stir this together really good. Then um, we're gonna fill, I've got my, my tortillas all, all mixed up already. These are like loaded, majorly stuffed enchiladas, okay? Because we're gonna just fill them with as much, as much protein as we can. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys a trick, okay? So when we wanna make sure we get the same amount of chicken and cheese in each enchilada, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your food scale, zero it out, put your food on there, zero it out again, you're zooming in, that's a little dirty, there we go, <laughs> zero it out again, then what we're gonna do, you guys, is you're gonna weigh it backwards, okay? So if we want 60 grams of chicken in each enchilada, it's gonna go negative. Oh wait, I have to take the spoon out first. Now zero it out without the spoon. Okay, we're gonna do 60 grams of chicken in each enchilada. So there we go, see we're at negative 39, negative 52, almost there, 62, close enough, okay? Then we wanna do 12 grams of cheese in each enchilada. So again, we're gonna put that on the scale, zero it out, pull out our 12, oh my gosh, I'm so good, 12 grams of cheese. Okay, then for the sauce, it doesn't really matter quite as much. So we're just gonna put a big spoonful of sauce on there. Okay, with these enchiladas, you guys, you're gonna get a little dirty, okay? Make sure you got clean hands. You're gonna just stuff this together. Maybe don't zoom in, because it's not the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to do a trick, you guys, when I do these loaded enchiladas. I stuff them in here, and then I take a toothpick, and I shove that toothpick right through my enchilada. That's gonna hold it together because we've got so much protein in here. Oh, whoops, it's not staying. Okay, shove that in there. There we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> me in the kitchen, this is what you get. Okay, there we go, it's all the way through. I promise they still taste the same even if they're coming apart. Okay, I think we got that one. Okay, you guys. We're gonna load up a couple more of these here. So, if you guys haven't seen all my Facebook Live events that we've had going on, um, showing you a little bit more about my six week challenge program, on Thursday, they're all still in my feed, okay? On Thursday, we did um, a Q&A about the challenge okay so just all the commonly asked questions that I get you know what this challenge will do who's gonna who's it gonna benefit from it the most um, kind of like how how I set it up everything like that 
So scroll all the way back in my feed till Thursday and you'll find all the info that you're looking for there, okay? But what I don't want you to miss is Friday morning. Friday morning, we did a really fun Facebook Live workout. So we're at a local gym here at Thrive Gym in Sandy. It's a really great gym. And um, we did a sample workout for you guys. So you can do that in real time. Tons of people joined us live on Friday morning and did it with us. But if you couldn't join us live, all you have to do is scroll down in my feed to Friday morning, so that's November 11th. It was a Veterans Day workout. Uh, and then they'll just be there, just like a post. A lot of people were like, well, I'm at work. We did it right in the middle of the day on Friday morning, which I know is not the best time for people. It was just the only time we could get the gym. Um, so it, the Facebook Live workout will live on my page forever and ever and ever, okay? So that's all you have to do is just go check it out there. So you know what, I'm gonna just make these 10 or these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, not 10. I'm gonna make seven because I don't think I can fit this last one in here. So what you're gonna do, once you have them all rolled up and ready, okay, you are going to top with one can of red enchilada sauce. Cause these are like authentic, real, real enchiladas. Okay, we're gonna try and get it all over everything without getting it all over my counter. I'm kind of a messy cook, you guys. Okay, pour that all over. Then the rest of the cheese. Okay, so you use 12 grams of cheese for each enchilada. Then there's gonna be some left over. Okay, so you're gonna just sprinkle all over the top. Something you can do, you guys, I like to do this. If you, um, let's say you're gonna have that enchilada or those two because you're gonna have it for a couple, this meal pump for a couple of days. Then you can put the right amount of cheese on those two. And then you can load up the rest of the enchiladas with cheese, a little bit extra cheese for like your husband or your kids or whatever, because face it, everybody likes more cheese, right? But sometimes more cheese doesn't necessarily work with our fitness goals. So we have to measure our cheese, but we can give our kids more cheese. Cheese is good for you, um, in moderation, of course. Okay, then we've got one can of sliced olives. We are gonna pour over the top here because these are real authentic enchiladas and they need olives. I should be wearing a sombrero, amazing. I definitely should have done that. Okay, so we are all ready. So considering the fact that it is 9 a.m. on a Monday morning here in Utah, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and cook them later, which is a great idea on something you can do if you go to work during the day, you can make these the night before or in the morning and put them in the fridge. So what we're gonna do, they're gonna bake for uh, at 350 for about 30 minutes, but really I used canned chicken. So everything in here is already cooked You're just kind of warming it all up and then making it toasty um, So just kind of watch it and make sure you you know about 30 minutes might be 27 You know just watch it and so then that is it then you get to serve your family nice warm yummy authentic enchiladas you can serve it with some rice for your family. For you, if you're on my meal plan, I would just serve it with a side salad and you are good to go. So, hold on, don't go anywhere. This is a special recipe from my six week challenge, you guys. There are so many recipes in here. Let me just tell you what some of them are called, okay? I'm gonna make you drool right about now. Apple pie oatmeal bake, Greek yogurt chicken, monkey wrap that has peanut butter, banana, chocolate chips, and honey all in the same thing. That's like dream come true stuff right there. Um, cheesy turkey noodle skillet. Let's see what else. Raspberry cheesecake shake. That's a favorite. That's definitely a favorite. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna let you just wonder. Okay. So my program is on sale through tomorrow on www.trainerlindsay.com. You are going to get six weeks worth of workout videos, a different workout every single day for six days of each week. Um, and also 11 different meal plans that incorporate my unique carb cycling strategy to help you see the fastest results possible. So um, try these enchiladas, the recipes in the post above, right up there, okay? And head on over to www.trainerlindsay.com to check out my program. I will see you guys later.